I'm holding in my hand what many would consider the world's best mug. It's certainly one of the most expensive. I mean, after all, it's controlled through your phone to keep the perfect temperature for your hot beverages. But here at Process, the question that we asked was, what packaging is holding the world's best mug? And I got the, the box right back here on my desk and I'm gonna show you all how Ember created this packaging that is worthy and is actually sold in Apple. I'm gonna break down the box and share with you the cost to produce this, the materials, and if you wanted to make packaging in an amazing presentation like Ember has done, how you can pull that off. As technology advances, it's amazing to see how products are getting smarter. In a recent episode, uh, I shared with you, we built a box for Pura um, that connects your device, your smart home device, to an in-home fragrance dispenser. Check that out right here. But the product right here is the world's first temperature control mug. So how do you package the world's best and most expensive mug or any other category leader for that matter? I think Ember has done an absolutely fantastic job. So before I show you the materials and the costs, what is significant about their packaging? First things first, Apple has some really strict guidelines when it comes to packaging um, that is lucky enough to grace their shelves. I talked about this in our Jaybird headphone video and how we made packaging that was sold into Apple and Best Buy. So let's break this down. I've got it right here on my desk. Check this out. So we first have this super clean matte sleeve that goes around the entire uh, box here. It's really thin and this can be the case in this type of packaging because of how rigid and nice this box is, but really clean images, um, straightforward, very Apple-esque white space throughout the box. Uh, we have a message from the CEO and the founder right here, uh, a, a nice message of the mug and tells us exactly what it is. Nothing too fancy, ton of clarity. I know um, the three simple steps I need to take pour, adjust, and enjoy. I know why, I know how it works. So as I remove the sleeve here uh, from the box, uh, you can see these really sharp edges and clean. This is difficult to do in, in manufacturing. It's just straight good manufacturing on this box. Nothing printed on this box. We just hit this, uh, there's this Ember logo hit, hit with the UV here. It really takes restraint in design to not more plaster more messaging or branding all over your box and your packaging. You'll notice in really cheap packaging, it's, it's often overdone, it's over graphic, and there's too much information on it. I really love how they used restraint in the box right here. We have a really simple, subtle uh, black reveal of the secondary color that you can see, um, which is the color of product. So amazing engineering on this box, fits perfect. It slides right off, just like you would see in an Apple iPhone box. And this is, and what, this is what's really unique about this packaging though, because you, you don't see this a whole lot in packaging. You can see how two thirds of the product itself is revealed. Normally to pr protect the product and keep it in place, products are recessed two thirds down inside or even all the way down in. So if you wanna build a similar presentation style to your product, which is really, it really lets the product be the hero, you need a, a, a secondary molded CAD up here. So you need two molds. Um, they've glued the second one up inside. This gives us this really just minted presentation. Uh, both the top and the bottom molds is a matte black to match the product itself. And you notice very similar style to an unboxing experience as far as Apple goes. You don't need any scissors or knives to undo this whole package, which is intentionally done. And I talk about that in our Apple iPhone box video that I did prior. Um, so this product just easily just comes right out. We've got our mug there. We have these, these cavities inside. Nice little, so I'm gonna just pop this out. This is our, our plastic piece. I'm gonna pull it out. There's a, there's a little thumb hole that lets me take my charging plate out that the mug sits right on top of. And then we have um, some literature and some stickers, some branding. There's a charger down in place with our third uh, cavity mold down in here. So if you guys wanted to build a box like this, uh, uh, what would it cost to pull this off? So here at Process, um, if we were to build a box like this, um, the internal cavities, we're looking at three to $4. Um, finished for this whole thing. Uh, the plastic molded materials, all three would be 50 to 75 cents. Uh, you can tell they didn't skimp on the thickness of this plastic at all. We, usually we see plastic interiors. They're much thinner than this. You can almost break them when you bend them, but this is much higher grade and thicker plastic. We look at the instruction manuals and the stickers. That's gonna be in the 10 cent range. And then we've got our little charger down there. So if you wanted to be the leader in your category, like Ember in this case, you have to out package, you have to out present, and you have to out design your competition. So if you're interested in doing just that, 
hit us up. We have our own factories in China. We've built our own consumer product brands over the past 15 years. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know in the comments which packaging we should break down next, and we will see you guys on the next one. Oh, please subscribe. <laughs>